Hello everyone and welcome to this training with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the sliders. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can handle the drag and drop using the action chains. So using the same action chains, we will be handling the slider. So for this particular tutorial, I will be using the same Internet Heroku app. And here, let me go and let's find the slider here and this is the slider click on this one so this is slider we need to move the slider from here to here and in order to do this we will be using the action chains and simply go to the pycharm here and let me create a new python file i'm naming it as handling slider and the first thing is that we need a driver so browser is equals to web driver dot chrome and here we need to import the web driver now let's maximize the browser so browser dot maximize and after this we need to open the url using the browser dot get so browser dot get and we need to provide the url here so let's go to the browser again and copy the URL from here. And now we need to paste it here. Okay. So once we have done with this thing, now we need to identify a slider. We will find a slider and then we will be creating an action change object. And using that action change, we will be moving a slider. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the browser again and let's inspect this one and let's go to the selector serve and here you see that we have a value equals to zero so basically this is a range right it's, it's a range input type equals to a range here so I can simply create a X path, okay, but I don't want to select a value. I just need to identify this one because if I go with this zero value, it might not work here. So simply what I'll do is that I will find the slider, slider equals to browser dot find element. So I will be using by dot X path. So we need to put a by here and by dot xpath. Now what I'll do is that I will be writing a very simple xpath because I know that the input type equals to range. So double power slash input. Then we need to tell a attribute which is type at type equals to type equals to range and that's it that's how we can simply create uh, export for this particular element now we need to create an object of the action chains so that's mean simple equals to action chains and we need to pass a driver And here we need to import this action chains. Once we are done with this thing, now we will simply moving this from one point to another. In our previous tutorial, using this one, so we use a drag and drop, right? And because we are you know dragging the one element from the another, but in this particular tutorial, we are not dragging one element to another. This is a single element where you are sliding from one point to another. So here we will be using other method, which is basically click and hold because we are clicking and holding this one and then we are moving this one. So click in and hold, but we are clicking and holding. We are clicking holding this range. 
and when we are clicking and holding this one now we need to move this one so we have move element here we will be going with move by offset because we will be providing the because this is a horizontal slider right so if i say that my x-axis has some value and y-axis doesn't have any value or, or should be zero then it will move in a horizontal way so let me show you how so here the first value i need to provide in terms of a horizontal okay the offset is 50 comma zero so zero is for the y-axis which is a vertical one right so vertically we are not moving we are saying that is zero here now once we do this we will say okay because we are holding clicking and holding and at the same time we are moving so we need to release the functionality because we need to you know remove the click and hold functionality and once we do that we need to perform this action and now i will be going with the time or sleep so that we can see the execution here and finally we will be putting the browser here now we are good to go with the execution so let's run this one and see what happens so i should open the browser i should maximize the browser i should go to this particular page and then it should move the slider you see that the slider is moved from one point to another okay now let me change this to the hundred so you might have a question that if we provide a value which is outside the slider then what happens so let me show you in this case because we know that the 50 value is covering almost 80 percent of the slider but if i provide 100 then what happens so in this particular case it will go to the maximum value regardless what whatever the value i provide here right and if you want to provide a less value so you can adjust the value accordingly for example if i say 25 and if i run this one so this time you will see that it will move but slightly move you see this you see that it's a slightly move so that's how you can actually work with the sliders using synonym with python and you should be using this action chains thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial